And this Central Jersey Group 3 semifinal game is underway. Mid-size kick goes to about the 25. And the Crimson Knights will take over near the 37-yard line. He's going to throw it, finds Bobby Evans at the 41. S tries to spin for the first down. It looks like he's got at least that, and he does. Well, let me say this. Passing on first down. And looks like getting another one is Kudlachik. It's a carry. Stevens pushing the, check that, that's Kudlachik, and he gets to the 15. Bernardi to pass, throws it to Evans. Evans running free, pushing the pile to the five. 45 seconds left to go in the opening quarter. Up the middle. Touchdown, Lacey Lyons. That was Scott Stevens. The big fullback, all he had to do was get past the line of scrimmage, and he did. And the Lions are on the board first with an impressive opening drive. Combination of passing and running. That, took, that drive was 15 plays, gentlemen, 15 plays. Crimson Knights looking to take advantage here of an opening drive. It's a run up the middle. And it's to midfield. It's Larkin with a first down. Brought down by Kuligoski. Peters. Slings one left. It's a first down to Larkin. Spins, almost loses his footing. Pushing for more, gets to about the 21. With a first down, brought down by Dodero. Larkin runs left this time. Tries to escape a couple Lion defenders, does not. Stevens drags him down on a second down. Peters throws, caught. Touchdown, wall. It's Blake Rizik. Well, Rizik, that's his second touchdown reception of the season. Just a post he dragged across the field. And Peters found him, hit him in full stride. He broke a couple of tackles and goes into the end zone for the touchdown. And here's Oakley for the extra point that would give the Crimson Knights the lead. Brunati rolls right, throws right, complete. Close to a first down. He's a couple yards short. That's Pichetta. Larkin is now a, in the slot to the left. Peters back to pass. Throws one over the middle for Larkin. Makes the catch. Gets inside the 10. Brought down by Sanger. Second down. DeSarno has a lot of space. Pushes through. Touchdown, Crimson Knights. Well, DeSarno went wide left, and that is what you're, what you're always supposed to do there is you want to try and cut it up. And he did cut it up, found the space, and went into the end zone. Bernati throws right, tips. Was it intercepted or did it hit the ground? Oh, they called it an interception. It's intercepted. Second down, Peters. Runs left, running right, throws towards the end zone. Touchdown. Touchdown. It's Galos. Well, how about that from Mike Galos? That's his second catch of the season and his second touchdown of the season. Remember, we mentioned earlier, he was injured early in the year, broke his leg, only came back last week. And really, this is the first time he's been healthy since that week two game against Rumson. And good for the senior there. Yeah, this is him right here. Oh, there, there he is. is. Oh, double reverse. It's Bacetta looking to pass. Throws one towards the end zone. Touchdown. Caught for the touchdown. Guess who? Yep. 
<laughs> Mike Kudlachik, who wow. was not the intended receiver. He was supposed to throw it down the right sideline, but he was covered. And <laughs> give Bichetta credit. Wasn't very pretty, but he got it there. Yeah, it was beautiful if you're a Lacey fan. There is no time left on the clock, and we've got a ball game. You had, you had me confused. <laughs> DeSarno on the carry up the middle, pushing the pile, looking for a little more room. Gets to midfield. Lions pushing him. DeSarno keeps rolling. Gets to the 44. Ball on the 45. It's DeSarno trying the right side. Up the Lacey sidelines. He's got another first down. Kolagoski on the stop for the Lions. Peters going to take it himself up the middle. Busts through the middle, gets the first down a little bit more. Peters to Sarno. Left side, wall side. To the 10, the 5. Touchdown, Crimson Knights. Well, Matt DeSarno, that would be his second touchdown run of the night. And Wall with the extra point coming, has opened up a 15-point lead. Oh, that short field. You can only get away with that so often against a good football team, and the Crimson Knights took advantage. Bernati rolls left. Pocket collapsing, and down he goes. Jensen rolls left. Throws left. This one caught by Evans, and he gets a first down. Well, that's a nice pass. Kid comes in cold off the bench. That changes. Bernati rolls right, throws across the middle to Evans, and somehow he makes the reception and grabs the first down. Bernati, Jensen. Looks for a corner around the end and loses a couple yards. Gets dragged back. Fourth down. Bernati oh, here feeling comes the he. pressure. Throws it right. It's caught. Short of the goal line. But a first down for the Lions. Woo, what a great play. That's Kudlachik. Evans, the lone receiver, right. It's a rush up the middle. It's a touchdown. It and it's is. a touchdown for the Lions. Crimson Knights begin the drive with a run from Peters. Up the Lacey sideline, gets past midfield. Pushing for a little bit more, but gets pushed out of bounds instead by Sanger. Receiver split to each side. As Peters sets up in the pistol, it's DeSarno with the run. DeSarno's got a first down and a little bit more. Heartbreaker. This is a carry. DeSarno breaks a couple tackles, Stevens, and it's Sanger who finally brings him down at the 15. Peters going to take it himself. Pushes the pile, runs right to the five. Logan Peters in for the touchdown. Gotta give kudos to this Lacey team. Bernani rolling right here. Throws it right. And did they call it a catch? Yeah, yes, Bichetta. they did. First down. Boy, another really need, need good you pass. Ask if Bernardi puts the ball between the numbers. Threads he the needle. Does. Bernardi throws it left. It's Kuligowski. Gets drilled at the 45. What a hit by Larkin. Fourth down. Cool left, Bernardi throws it over the middle. Kujlachik got it. He's pushing for the first down, and he's got it. 
Bernardi looking left. Back of the end zone for Evans. Intercepted in the end zone. Logan Peters. Yeah, that's your quarterback and safety, and that will pretty much seal the deal. That time, we got treated to a pretty good football game tonight. A hard-fought win for Wall and a gutsy effort by Lacey, and that will do it. And the Crimson Knights are moving on to the Central Jersey Group 3 Championship game, defeating the Lacey Lions 35-18.